reversible succession from the past through to the present to the future that that makes time something that is so important that you can't just wish away that means that time is not something you can retrieve if it's gone it means that you can't store it it's not even in your hands you don't control time and so time keeps moving check your watch it keeps moving yeah. you you your your date of birth doesn't need your permission before it comes hmm. so it keeps running so you have to be careful about how you maximize time that is why making sure you don't waste time is so important now so you come to the topic about wasting it after understanding what time is mm-hmm. and here i want to say that there's never enough time to do anything you want to do but there can be enough time always to do the things that are important to you okay so you have to define what is important to you so that anything you've got to do that you have to do when you want to do it is done in such a way that nothing takes away the little time you have to accomplish that important task. Mm. So to achieve any goal, for example, in a new year, the goal you want to achieve is what you define or call as important to you. Okay. So anything you do daily that does not take you closer to realizing that goal becomes a time waster. Okay. So you must be, number one, clear in your mind and on paper what mm. important is as far as your goals are concerned. Mm. And this must be daily. So every day you should be able to define that as far as my life is concerned, my finances, my career, my business, whatever, as far as those things are concerned, this is what is important to me. Meaning, these are the things I have to do daily that will draw me from point A to point B in realizing those goals. Mm. So anything that, that does not fall in the radar of helping you realize that goal every day becomes a time waster. Why? Because it's not as important. So you have to be clear in your mind what that thing called important to you as far as your goal is concerned is. And you don't just become clearer on your mind. You become clearer on paper as well. So for example, you walk into the studio this morning and you are clear in your mind what time it is you are starting and what time it is you are closing. Mm -hmm. Clear in your mind. Mm -hmm. Then you put it again on paper that between this time and that time, we are taking this show. Between this time and that time, we are taking this commercial. So you have defined it not just on your mind, but on paper. So that any time you are veering off the schedule of what is important for the show, from say 6 to 10, you are able to tell that, look, let's cut this because then it takes away the time I have to accomplish that an important thing. Okay. So to kill anything called waste, as far as your time is concerned, be clear on your mind, meaning that you should be able to tell what success looks like for that aspect of your life as far as your goal is concerned. It can be anything. So if a mother who is feeding a baby that is under six months is calling something a time waster, it may not be a time waster for another person who is going to be on the show at say six. And the difference between the two is your ability to say that as far as this goal of mine is concerned, these are the things I've got to do. And this is the time I've got to do them. So anything outside of that becomes a time waster. And so I'm we saying can't that even identify the time wasters if we have not identified what is important to us. Exactly so. Place. Because mm. I may be on social media now. And I can easily say being on social media all the time is a time waster. Mm-hmm. But it may not be if I am a social media manager of Joy FM. Okay. Why? Because at any time, T, I have to be on social media because it is relevant to the goals I have <coughs> as a social media manager. So if you are not clear, you can decide to call some things time wasters, but they may not be. Mm. A father, your father may call you and you may not pick. You think you are too busy. But if in your relationship goals this year, your goal is to get closer to your father and build a certain relationship that makes you better, then it doesn't become a time waster. So number one is that be clear in your mind after understanding what time is. It's not in your control. You don't tell when you die. You don't tell when you are born. Okay. And so you have to manage time so well that you do the most important things that matter to you mm-hmm. and the goals you want to achieve mm-hmm. by clearly telling what is important to you on your mind. So we have told what is important to us. How do we then identify what is taken away from our time? Great. So anything that doesn't fall in the radar of importance as far as your goal is concerned becomes a time waster. So number one is that be clear on your mind and on paper. Number two is that you have to make sure that you prioritize. Because I started by saying that there is never enough time to do anything you want to do. Mm -hmm. But there is always enough time to do the most important things 
And we are saying that you have already defined the most important thing. Now you have to prioritize. This is what Stephen Covey does in terms of prioritization based on what you want to do. He says that there are four key things in your life that you must be able to tell that this comes first, this comes second, this comes third. Now, he says that the first pillar is about the things that are important and urgent. Meaning that before you begin every day, since you have defined what the day's success looks like as far as your life is concerned, you should be able to tell that what are the things I must do today to the extent that if I don't accomplish them today, I have missed on them. And they are important and urgent because beyond today, they may affect me. The consequence may be huge. Mm -hmm. So you have to create a quadrant for each day and say that today I must do these two or three things because it is important and urgent. Now, anything that doesn't fall within those things for the day become time wasters and you have to manage them. You can't, you can't eliminate them, but you have to manage them. And as we go along, I'll show how you manage them. But the point is that after clearly defining it and writing it down, you have to prioritize. And the first way to prioritize is to tell which items are important and have deadlines for the day. Okay. Then the next quadrant, which comes next in the day as you try to prioritize, is to be able to tell the things that are important but not urgent. So they must be done today, whatever it is, looking at what you do. The first things are the things that have timelines for today that must be done. Mm -hmm. The next things are the things that must be done today, even though I can delay them to another day. But because it is important, you've got to put it second. And rather put something that is not important. Im not important meaning something that has relatively nothing to do with your goal for the day. So mm -hmm. example, um, you have to be in this studio at 6. Mm -hmm. But as you were on your way coming, a friend calls you that, look, he just met one of your friends in Infantip in Buche who just came from UK and he wanted to see you before you go on air. Mm -hmm. Now, that thing is not important and urgent as far as your goal for the day is concerned because if you miss your being on air by the time we have given you, it's going to have a great consequence on your career. Yeah. So, as good as it may be that you meet that friend, you've got to make sure that in prioritizing, you put being on air and in the studio behind the console the time that you have been given right on time First, before after that time you have finished doing whatever show you are supposed to, you mm -hmm. can place a coin and say, guys, can we meet? So then you know what things to address first and what things to address second. Mm -hmm. Another example, if you believe in the role of God in your life as a person, then you can make reference to a scripture like, seek ye first the kingdom and all other things can be added to you. That means that, you do not begin the day without having a prayer or an intimate relationship with God before you step out. Mm -hmm. Because you know that you can step out without prayer, but something significant can happen to you that will take your life even probably away from you. And the thing you put first may not be of essence. So first things first, important agent. Then the next one is important but not agent. And the third one can be not important but agent. Meaning that there is an urgent call you may have to pick, even though you're on air. So you quickly put in a commercial and pick that call because that's your dad. You don't mm. know what he's going to say. Mm. So at the moment, the call you have to make to do that interview is urgent and important. But you have this call also, which is not as urgent, but you have to pick it. It was not as important, as important but, but urgent. It's urgent. So you have mm. to pick it and probably say, hello, da, 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 da. Pick whatever it is first and say, can I call you back after that time? Okay. Because if you don't, it skips the agency and something bad could also happen i've always you. had a problem identifying what is urgent but not important because in my mind sometimes urgent things are also important but the difference between importance and agency is is, is where is where it comes so agent means there is a timeline if you miss it now you may not be able to go back to it mm -hmm. important as defined earlier is anything that has a consequential effect on your goal for which period you have. Okay. So, speaking to your dad is okay. But you don't need to speak to your dad in the middle of the show, especially when he was just checking up on you. Mm -hmm. So, it may be urgent to pick the call now, but it's not important or relevant to the show you are doing now, unless he's making a contribution to the show you are doing. Okay. Or, you have a meeting with your boss at 10. And you have scheduled the meeting and he says, submit a report 10 minutes before that meeting. 
That means that the 10 minutes before that meeting's report submission has a timeline, so it is urgent. If you mm -hmm. miss it, it goes against your career. Mm -hmm. Why is it important? It's also important because it borders on a very important item in your life, your career. Mm -hmm. And anything that centers around your career and the person who holds the power to move you up the next ladder is so critical. So if you are in front of your boss discussing that report and a call comes in or a WhatsApp comes in and because the WhatsApp appears a bit urgent, you have to respond. But it has nothing to do with the important meeting you are having at the moment mm -hmm. and you leave your boss's present to just chat and respond to a chat that has nothing to do with the, the task we are accomplishing in front of your boss. Then you are not prioritizing right mm. and it could cost you something urgent. Mm. Six minutes to the top of the hour here on the Super Morning Show. Enjoy 99.7 FM. We are speaking with Richmond Kwame Frimpong on how to identify time wasters and get them out of your way so you can um, achieve your goals for 2019. It's part of our, our Start Rights conversation for the day. And he's already spoken to us about the first thing to do is identify what is important, put it down on a daily basis. Number two is prioritize. In prioritizing, he's told us the first two things to consider. The first thing is what is important and urgent. And the second thing is what is important and not urgent. He's going to take us to the other two uh, shortly. But if you're looking for experts to handle your insurance needs, that's an important thing. But you may not have the expertise to handle it. So give it to Dr. Gideon Amengedo. He works at j in g insurance brokers they will analyze your needs and negotiate the best terms of an insurer with excellent track records in paying claims so you can use that time to do something more amazing for yourself just call dr gideon amengedo on 0244-333-335 or 0504-333-335 or visit our website at jinginsurancebrokers.com or email us on info at jinginsurancebrokers.com the facebook page is jing insurance Brokers, J in G Insurance, negotiating a great insurance deal is our business. Now, Big Bond Roofing Systems Limited is a high-quality, innovative roofing manufacturer and installer of modern roofs on new and old residential as well as commercial buildings throughout Ghana. We provide long warranties of up to 10 years. So call us on 030-226-8261 in Accra or 037-202-2405 in Tamale or 050-129-0390. Or visit our office in Accra, North Industrial Area, and Tamale Sangani. Terms and conditions attached. Big Bond Roofing Systems Limited. Durable, beautiful, and affordable. So, um, Richmond, take us through the other ways, the other things to look at in prioritizing. Right. So, and then we look at how to get them out of the Right. Way. So, so number one is important and agent. And we are saying that you measure what it's important and agent if you're able to tell the potential consequences of doing it and the inverse. So if you're able to tell that if I don't do this, and what is the consequence? And if it's so dire, then you have to know where to place it. The third aspect in these pillars is not important but agent. Not mm -hmm. important meaning you don't have to do it now, but you've got to do it anyway. You don't have a paper this morning to write if you're a student, but you have to learn anyway because exam will come. Mm -hmm. So you have to find a way to learn today, but it may not have to be the first thing you have to do. Okay. The first thing you have to do is to catch that lecture that is at nine. It's urgent and important at the same time. Mm -hmm. So you don't say you are going to learn at the time when the lecture has started. Mm. And you rather say you are now looking for lecture notes when you are going to write the exam. So the third one is important but not urgent. Then the final one is not important, not urgent. I mm. mean, not important, not urgent, but you just have to do it. Maybe you just have to hang out with friends. Not really important as to you are going to write a paper next week. So the time is not urgent, but not also important. You don't, need to, you don't need to say you can't go and chill out with friends who just came around to check on you. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't have to take the place of the first three things we have spoken about. Okay. So then it helps you to prioritize. Mm -hmm. Number three, to help you to take away time wasters, is to focus on productivity instead of activity. Productivity instead of activity. Instead of activity. Mm -hmm. Now, before you begin each day, I've, I've said that Eliminating time wasters must be tackled daily mm -hmm. so that you're able to know what you've got to do. So you track it. Mm -hmm. Now, what is productive is anything that has a direct consequence on the ultimate goal you have. It is results-based. Does the thing I'm doing give me the result I want? If it does, then it's productive. Okay. Does the thing I'm doing now give me 
a result or a reward for what I want to achieve. It does not. But at least it keeps me active in doing something. That is activity. Oh. So many people can be very busy in the day responding to calls, picking calls, meeting friends, um, greeting people who walk into the offices, people who bump into them, um, taking service with people who just they, they meet outside for the first time and things. Very busy. But at the end of the day, they go back and check their priority list and they notice nothing significant in day has been done. Mm. Or maybe you were just there and you notice that something picks up a noise on your phone. You go to check. Oh, it is number one or something in the news. Mm. The next moment, whilst you are still trying to do something on the show, another thing comes up on your WhatsApp. A couple of minutes, oh, Danny, we have heard you, you have that. And you are responding to all of them. Busy, active, but is it productive on the show? You might even be interviewing someone, and whilst you are doing that, you just decided to look at a pop-up message that came. The next moment, you notice that you have to respond to a lot of friends who are checking on you and giving you shout-outs. And you have lost count of what the person you are interviewing is saying on the other side. Mm -hmm. So you are busily interviewing the person and busy on your phone trying to respond to WhatsApp chats. But you are not productive because at the end of the day, the questions you ask the person may not even be relevant to what the person is saying. Okay. So you have to focus on what is productive instead of what is act um, mm. active. Somebody comes to the office at 8, even though he's supposed to report at, say, 8.30. He leaves at 10, even though he's supposed to close at 5. But the boss asks him to report on a presentation they are going to submit to the World Bank, maybe tomorrow. Throughout the day, he's been busy moving to one office to another. He's been busy taking handshakes and hugs. He's been busy taking other people's tax and running for them. At the end of the day, when he's supposed to give that report, he's unable to and he asks for more time. You have been active in the day in the office, but you have not been productive. You might have closed at 10, but you have not delivered on the things mm. that bring results. Mm. So you notice that you have wasted a lot of time, even though you were active. So don't just be focusing on things that make you active, but focus on things that makes you productive. And that helps you to prevent time wasting. The next point, which will be the fourth point that helps us, is leverage. Now, what is leverage? Leverage is simply anything that gives you the speed and the edge to achieve more, either than if you had done it on your own. Now, here, I want to say that to kill time wasters, leverage on other people's knowledge and experiences. Okay. Whatever you are doing now in whatever role of whatever career, another person has done before. So if you want to reinvent the wheel, instead of looking for people who have already advanced in that area, to pick knowledge that would have cost you maybe taking you three years, which you can pick by sitting down over a, a, ta over a table, across table, with one knowledgeable person. You can pick that same information and that same experience in a minute. Mm. So you leverage on other people's knowledge. You leverage on other people's experiences. And that is where following, that is where emulating success of other people counts. Look at the nations of the world, the Americas and the Europe. You notice that they are rich and they have advanced because they copied each other. Yeah. So they just emulate you. Sometimes you are driving from Germany to another European state in the Scandinavian. And if you don't look at the sign, you may even not notice that you have crossed Germany into another country. Yeah. Everything appears almost the same. Come to Africa. Go to Togo, a, a place in Togo and close your eyes. Come to Accra. Go to another place. You see the same potholes and the same stuff. What am I saying? If you want to become productive, you've got to know who to emulate mm. and follow. And when you do that, you leverage on other people's experience, other people's knowledge, and you become successful. The fifth one is have a sense of urgency. Have a sense of urgency because the time is not yours. Time is moving with or without your permission. So there are things that are in your control, in your sphere of responsibility, and there are things you can't do anything about. Yeah. So what is in your control, the things that depend on you, make sure you attack them with a certain sense of urgency a certain level of speed and excellence in delivery. When you do that, you take out time wasting. Many people are casual about life as if they have more time, as if you can create another time for yourself. No, the time, even if it's a minute, you can't get it back. So you, the thing that you have control and power over, treat them with a certain level of speed and agency. And then number six is proper prior planning. If you want to deal with time wasters, Make time to plan and prepare properly in everything you do. And when you do, you'll be amazed how you can do it. And then finally, you have to master yourself. Personal discipline. 
you must have self-mastery to do what you should do, when you should do it, and whether you like it or you feel it or you don't feel it, you should be able to have self-mastery to do them. On this point, I, I want you to spend the next two minutes expounding on it a bit more because we know that it's lack of discipline that really distracts us a lot. So this is what I'll say. To have self-mastery, you must decide on at least these things I'm going to talk about to be able to attack them any day, any time. Because sometimes you don't even feel like doing the things you have to do. But as long as you see the picture of your future staring at you and what you want to achieve, it gives you a certain energy to continue, even when you don't feel like. So many people don't feel like reading. But if you know that where you are going, you've got to read and understand the matters of the issues of, say, Ghana, from where you sit now. Mm. It is not about your feeling. It is about the picture of where you are going. Mm. So that picture makes you wake up at dawn and read before you come and sit down. Mm. So that that picture, with or without another person encouraging you to come and sit here, will still give you a self-mastery over yourself. Not to sleep up till five, but to wake up before that time. Mm. If you don't have anything like that, that gets you to sit up. Then almost every now and then you leave yourself up to yourself and then follow the normal the normalcy of the day. So, so a, a picture of, of where you want to be. Yes, that's a picture of your future. And it must stay at you all the time, mm. on your phone, in the house, um, wherever you, you see. Almost all the time, you must have a picture of that future and it helps. Now, self-mastery in these areas, your devoutness to God, you must have self-mastery. Look, it doesn't matter how high you go in life. My belief is that you, you need God to become whatever you want to become. Mm. And so you must have a certain self-mastery over your relationship with God. It's important. Okay. You must have self-mastery over the way you treat your health because your health will determine how far you even go in life. So you don't need to feel like you have to exercise. You must do it. Self-mastery. The next thing you have to have self-mastery is your relationships and family. Look, when the boss shuts the door on you the next day, the only place you can go and they will still accept you is a family. Mm. Don't be busy on the family. Have self-mastery to create that relationship. The next one is your finances. Have self-mastery over your finances. You can have all the great dreams in the world. If you don't understand the money control, you have to make it, how to manage it, how to multiply it, your dream will be stuck in your room. Mm. So have self-mastery in finances. The last three, have self-mastery in your personal development. Become more. And you earn more. Uncle Ebo said it, Jim Ron. Become more. You earn more. Become more. So every day ask yourself, what am I doing to become more knowledgeable, mm. more intelligent, more skillful, so that the world can pay you more for that? And then make sure you get self mastery over technology. Get self mastery over technology. Mm. And you'll be amazed. What becomes a time waster on social media, Facebook, WhatsApp, YouTube, mm -hmm. and stuff would become a value addition to you and you become more successful in the coming year. Thank you so much Richmond to come in Frimpong. Richmond is a life coach, motivational speaker, author. Um, he's the organizer of Exit Strategy Summit. He's been talking to us about time wasting. The things that take away from our time and how we can master them. Be clear on what is important. Number one, prioritize what is important and urgent, what is important and not urgent, what's uh, not important but urgent, and what's not important and not urgent. That's the order. Productivity over activity, leveraging on other people's knowledge and experience, having a sense of urgency, planning, and finally, discipline yourself, which is to master yourself. Then we can all get there. Now, if you're into farming or dream of being a large-scale farmer, talk to our friends at the Agric Development Bank. Your